I believe that over the last seven years or eight years that we've been uh, participating in this, uh, we've probably saved two to maybe three inches of irrigation water per year. And so that, uh, that saved us twelve to eighteen hundred dollars a year versus what we did ten years ago. We still get excellent yields um, and we probably irrigate uh, one, probably as much as one to two inches less per year than what we had previously. One of the times that we probably use it more than anything is right after a rain uh, because it tells us when we re really need to start irrigating again and how much time we've got to re you know, restart uh, so we can plan other activities. Well, besides saving the cost, it, it's gone ahead and given us uh, the confidence as far as to know when to irrigate, uh, that we go ahead and have uh, neighbors that might start irrigating a lot earlier, and yet we know how much water supposedly is in the water, in the soil, and that we can go ahead and uh, uh, wait until uh, the crop actually uses up some of that water to know when to refill the soil. In terms of acreage that we represent or our partners, collaborators, collaborators represent in the network, we are up to 1.7, 1.8 million acres. And our initial goal was to reduce irrigation withdrawal uh, by say two inches per growing season. And we have accomplished that. So if you take two inches times you know, 1.7, 1.8 million acres, that is a significant amount of water that we did not withdraw. So that results in significant saving of water and, and associated energy resources too.